Hi folks, it's the first of uh... Sorry, there's something to be said about a nice glass of Southern Comfort. God damn it, that's good. I like a bit of whiskey now and again. Anyway, it's the 1st of January 2016 and I just want to say Happy New Year everybody. This video is just a very quick update to the uh, the Ford Mondeo uh, wet belt situation. Because I've had a lot of people message me over the course of the year asking especially for the part numbers for the, the chain kit and all the parts you need. So this video will have that, all the parts you need basically. So when you go down to your Ford dealer you can go up to the parts person and say listen Mr Parts person I understand that without these parts there's no way in the goddamn world you're ever going to find the parts for this so here you are I've made your goddamn job easy for you now just give me my parts so I can get on in my life that's it and I just want to point one thing out another thing I've been asked a lot when you buy this chain kit and for God's sake don't go to eBay and buy this chain kit. Please, do not do it. I know it's more expensive from Ford, but they are better quality parts and it will work. And you will pay for it, you will fit it, and that will be the end of it. But when you buy this chain kit, it comes in a box. I haven't got one here to show you because I'm at home and uh, I'm over the drink drive limit anyway, so I couldn't even go and get the parts. But, when you buy the chain kit, it will come in a, in a box, a bit, a bit like a box like this. And when you take it out of the box, you will have, <coughs> this is a bar of chocolate, but it's the same sort of thing. You will have the chain, You'll have the pump sprocket at one end and the crank sprocket at the other end with the chain wrapped round it and a rubber band around it holding it together. The chain will be fitted to the two sprockets in the correct position. So all you have to do is pick the chain up with the sprockets and bang straight into the engine. The only thing you have to do with this chain before you fit it to the engine is one of the separate parts, the hub I've been talking about, that's held on with the four 10mm screws. This little hub will fit inside the pump end of the chain. And then the four 10mm screws will go in. You'll bolt that hub onto the chain pump sprocket. Then you will fit the whole assembly onto the engine and bolt it up. Then you can put your timing cover back on and just rebuild it back together. Because I think that's caused a little bit of confusion. So I just thought I'd clear it up. But obviously, anyone's got any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer. So anyway, that's my dinner. The oven's bleeping. Happy New Year, everybody. Hope things work out well. Adiós.